Hey guys, it's Josh Lombito here from Free Magic Live. In today's video, I'm going to teach you a sneaky way to reverse a card in the middle of a pack of cards. Check it out. Hey guys, we're out here in Brisbane today. I've just finished having breakfast. I didn't have breakfast at home and that's a bad choice. So breakfast first before magic. <laughs> and uh, in today's video, I'm teaching a, a way that I've sort of come up with to reverse a card in the middle of a pack during a routine. It looks something like this. So the spectator is going to pick a card. You're going to show them. Okay, put it back. And now I'll just ask them, do you remember what your card was? You do? Okay, great with just a small gesture like this. By casting a shadow, as they say, you can then reverse the card. Now, this effect, this is a slide. Now, this is not the easiest slide in the world, but it's really fun. Definitely achievable by anyone. And what is happening here, I'll just break it down step by step. Uh, when they pick a card, so when you show them the card, you're showing them the card in the hand that's got it, the cards and mechanics script, so you're doing this. When you come back, when you come back and you're putting the cards back on top, all you have to do at this point is grab a pinky break, because what's going to happen is, under the cover of these cards, you're going to sort of bring this packet down a little bit, and what's happening is my pinky and these two fingers here are actually going to pull down on this card, lifting it um, vertical, like that. Now it seems like a lot to do and you think maybe people are going to see it, but because this, this pack here is covering it, they don't see that. And obviously you have your hand here covering as well. Now this is not something you're going to do with a, a circle of people all around you, but what you want to do is have people in front of you, probably like, um, like 45 degree angles, and you'll be fine. Now when you do it, what's actually happening is you're pulling down and then you're pushing it back up, which pushes it straight. Now, if I was to do it with no cover, with no extra card, it's actually going to fall off this way because it wants to actually reverse. So when this hand is here as well, it actually pushes up against that hand, which is what makes it reverse, and you square back up. Now, because that's in the middle of the pack, that seems really impossible that you could even, even do that, so people don't suspect anything. So again, they pick, you pick the card, you square up with that pinky break. So this hand is just going to this hand here, sorry, is going to tilt down like this. So when I come forward, I'm going to do the move. So I'm going to come forward. Now, I'll, I'll expose it for you, but I'm going to come forward, pull that down, push it up against my hand, and it's going to go back in. And I'm just going to kind of square the pack up, and it's going to be reversed. Now, something to remember when you're doing this is this. When I go to do the move, I want to make sure that this hand is covering. You don't want to have a, a gap here, or they're going to kind of see something weird. And also, just be careful of your angles a little bit. Um, if you practice in a mirror, the angles are going to be different in a mirror to what it is with a person. Because in a mirror, you're seeing just the reflection, but a person watching is going to be over here but looking down. So you want to make sure you have this on an angle that's just kind of um, facing their eye line, and then that's fine. Now with this, um, another way you can get into this if you want to, is um, you can do this, if, you, if this is something you do already, you can flick through the cards like this and have someone say stop. They see the card. If you flick one more card over and then put the pinky break in, you're in the same position again. It's just another way of doing it if you like to do it upright like that. So you do the move. Um, and also, this is really important. Don't do this move with them looking at the cards. This will not work if you, if you pick the card and then you go, um, so if you look at this, um, if you go, okay, you just pick the card and now watch this, they're going to see it. And you're going to be nervous and you'll probably stuff it up like I just did then. What you want to do is do it in what magicians call the offbeat. And what that is, is as you bring the cards back together, just say something to them. Do not, don't look at the cards, look at them and they'll look back at you because usually they're polite. Um, and all you're going to do is talk to them, just say, and I just say, um, do you remember what your card is? As you say that, lean forward and just do the move and just get it over with. So just say, you know, you remember your card? Okay, good. And it's done. They don't even know anything's happened yet, which is why you're now a step ahead. Now, um, 
from here, you can do what you want with this, but what I like to do is kind of um, pretend that I'm causing that card to now turn over by putting my hand over it, turning my hand, and then spreading the cards out and showing that it's reversed. It's a nice, nice way. It, it actually makes it then become an effect. Um, and if you learn, if you do some other card tricks as well, what's nice as an idea is you can then go into what we call a triumph effect, where then you shuffle all the cards mixed and matched and you make all the cards go around the right way except for their card. So it's a nice lead into something else as well. All right guys, hope you enjoyed learning that slide today. Remember, if you want to learn more tricks and effects and slides, make sure you check out our website, which is freemagiclive.com, and I'll see you in another video.